and how no, and much more. Monday morning it is, March the 27th, those meals, the actually at the Santana. Stir me a nice little remake. Anyways, good morning. Yeah, okay, see, look, look, look here. See, I said, what the line? I usually don't get my cappuccino until 9 o'clock. I don't, I don't. But I got my cappuccino right now. Now, you know what's missing? A little donut, some pan dulce. Where's my donut? Where's my pan dulce? Right, you see? Man, I'm terrible, but that's okay. I'm going to be all right. I'm going to survive. Anyway, good morning. Ay, 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 ay. Um, I'm going to share a story with you guys, then I'm going to move forward. We're going to get to question of the day, but I definitely want to share the story with you guys. Now, before I share the story with you guys, I just want to say this. I'm sharing the story not to not to knock anybody, not to make fun of anybody. I'm sharing the story too, that way y'all can understand some of the struggles sometimes that somebody goes through to entertain people. Okay. That being said, let me just say this: uh, Fiesta de la Flor. I was out there in Corpus Christi, Texas, this past weekend, and uh, Friday night, Jimmy Jimmy G, I call him Jimmy G, Jimmy G, Jimmy Gonzalez was performing, and I was backstage, you know, and they were doing the thing, whatever the case may be. When Jimmy Gonzalez says to finish his performance, um, he was sitting still on top of the stage because the stage is a very tall stage. The bigger the stage, the taller they are. Well, anyways, uh, eventually Jimmy had to get down from the stage, and I felt really bad for him because he had yet to have a couple of people help him down the stairs. You know, he was really, really struggling. He really was, Jimmy Gonzalez. And um, I know he's got health issues. When I did the interview with him, he had told me he had a lot of health issues. But I felt really, really bad for him because I thought to myself, wow, I cannot believe that this man is still touring and entertaining crowds out there, you know, in his health condition. But he's doing it, you know, and uh, he was being helped down from the stairs. I'm going to say at least, at least 10 feet high, the stairs that he had to go down. So a couple of people had to help him and had to help him get in the SUV and stuff like that, and I just thought, you know, he didn't look good. He really, really didn't, and Jimmy G, if you're going to eventually watch this video, um, I really hope that you get well, my friend, I, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart, because it looks like if you really got a lot going on physically right now, you know, with, with, with your health issues, and I, I really hope you get better. You, you, you didn't look too good, amigo, but I tell you what, you went up there, you performed, you did your thing, you entertained the crowds, but now you need to take care of yourself. We did the amigo, por favor, and that's a direct message to Jimmy Gonzalez from to amigo Robert Rivas, okay? And I mean that. I really, really do. Good morning, Chicago. to Eddie DeLeon. Joining me from, I think he's up there in Arizona, New Mexico, Arizona. He's somewhere up there with desert. Eddie, I got a question for you, amigo. You've never invited me up there, dude. I want to go up there. I want to party with you, dude. Let's be a new party, dude. Come on, Eddie. What's the problem? Ask the old lady. Say, honey, can Robert Rivas come over here and party with us? Robert Rivas, I don't think so. He's a party animal. Man, he's a tomcat. No. <laughs> right? Not Robert Rivas. No, Eddie. No, not Robert Rivas. <laughs> Good morning, Shannon. I got it to Cynthia Gonzalez. I mean, it's the man who is watching me right now. Anyway, it's 8.30 in the morning. I'm having my cappuccino, and it is time for question of the day. But before I get to question of the day, before I get there, um... You know, my coffee's kicking ass right now. It really, really is. There we go. And he says, Mesa, Arizona. Come on out anytime, buddy. Eddie, um, I got a question for you, dude. Amigo, um, I heard that uh, Arizona, you know, out there in the desert, y'all got the best, you know, little Maui Wowie action, eh, amigo? And that's what I heard. Come on, Eddie. Come clean, brother. Come clean, Eddie. I heard, man, you're growing it out there, Eddie. Come on, dude. Hey. <laughs> Eddie's going, hey, Robert, shut the hell up, Robert. Shut the hell up, Robert. Hey, man. <laughs> but I tell you what, uh, let's get to my question of the day. But before we go there, check out crazy stuff. An elderly couple flying from Florida to Michigan ended up on the wrong plane, which took them 520 miles off course to a New York town on the Canadian border. The 96-year-old woman and the 89-year-old man anyways, were uh, in wheelchairs and accidentally ended up at a gate next to the one for their intended flight and boarded a plane that flew them to New York on the border with Ontario, Canada. Anyway, the couple said the flight took about the same amount of time as their usual trip between Florida and Michigan, so they didn't realize the mistake until they arrived. The captain, 
came and looked at, at them and uh, over the back of the chair and said, something terrible has happened. And she goes, yes. And the captain said, you're on the wrong plane. <laughs> That's crazy, right? That's crazy to board the wrong plane. That really, really is, man. Hey, man. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> if ever I were to board the wrong plane for whatever reason, I'm going to play the stewardess. I'm going to blame the pilot, and I'm going to want them to take care of me. You know, I've never flown first class. I've always wanted to fly. Thanks, and good morning, Robert. Enjoy the day. There we go. Okay, okay, there we go. Getting all these messages. There we go. Really, man. It's a good morning. Good afternoon, Maria Luna. Joining me on my morning show. Buenos dias, Maria. Anyways, it's a, really, man. I, for me to board a wrong plane, seriously, I don't think so. The only way I would get off that plane immediately if it was a Apache Klein plane or a Buddy Holly plane, I'm getting the hell off. I don't want to be in one of those planes. No, I don't. Because we all know the, we all know the outcome, don't we? Ah, my cafecito is very, very good this morning. It really, really is. Anyways, I tell you what, let me get to my question of the day. Um, You know, I talk about them all my time. I talk about my grandbabies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, now I'm in real trouble. Here we go. Carmen Miranda de Leon, Eddie's wife, is watching now. She goes, what did you say, Robert? What did you say, Robert? <laughs> uh, Carmen, listen, I was talking to Eddie, your husband. Uh, Eddie, you know Eddie, your husband? And uh, Carmen, uh, I was just wondering how come you never invited me up there, Carmen? What's the problem, Carmen? What's the problem, Carmen? Uh, I want to party with Eddie. I want to party with him. Or I don't know, maybe just a little bit, just a little party, not a big party, just a little party. Baby beers, not big beers, baby beers. Is it okay, Carmen? Ha <laughs> ha, is it okay? <laughs> Eddie goes, Robert, you got to ask Carmen. You know, she's a sheriff. You know, I'm not. She's as yeah, sheriff, not me. And I go, okay, uh, I'll ask Carmen. Hey, Carmen, I want to go where you live. I want to party with Eddie. Yes, I do. Good morning, shout out to Angel Anna. I mean, it was great meeting Angel Anna. In Corpus Christi, Texas, this past weekend, she brought all her family and stuff over to the hotel to pick up her tickets and stuff like that. And I met him. We took a picture and all that other good stuff. Great meeting you, Angel Anna. There we go. Joining me in. Anyways, let me get to my question of the day. Simple, straight to the point. I'm always talking about them. I talk about my grandbabies. I have three grandbabies. Baby Mia, who's uh, in first grade going on college. It's the Baby Jace, who's already starting to talk and uh, can throw me the finger. And a baby Trinity, who's doing very well as well. I'm a little baby Trinity. I love my grandbabies with all my heart, man. My grandbabies, you know, grandbabies. Like, look, I'm going to use myself for example. You know, I could pretend to be a tough guy out there. Hey, get so and say, hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, dude. You know, all this camaraderie and stuff, right? But the look is forever and all this stuff, right? Tough guy. And then I get my grandbabies and I turn into a wuss. Oh, my little baby, my little baby. Baby, you know, I'm talking all that little baby talk, and I can't do that, man, in front of the guys, because the guys are going to look at me like, what's your problem, Robert? You know, talking that baby talk stuff, come on, dude, no self-respecting bato loco talks, baby talk, Robert. So I got to kind of do it, you know, away from the guys, you know, because, you know, in front of the guys, yeah, give me another beer, sir, you know, give me a round, but I saw the hint the key, you know, you know, talk that guy talk, you know, but when I'm with the grandbabies, Man, the grandbabies, I get you let me come me baby, right? Right? That's the way it is with the grandbabies. So, my question of the day, simple, straight to the point. Do you have any grandbabies? And if so, how many do you have? I have three grandbabies. I have baby Mia, I have baby Jace, and I have baby um, Trinity, and I also have baby Eliana, which is not even a baby no more. She's like in the third grade. She's my half grandbaby. There we go. Half grandbaby. So anyways, head on over to Robert Reber's Internet Radio Group page right now and answer me. Pregunta, por favor. Do you have any grandbabies? Good morning, Charlotte. Also going out to Elsa Valdez saying, Hi, Robert. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Elsa. Good morning. Anyways, um, tonight, tonight, tonight here in San Antonio, my beloved San Antonio Spurs are taking on eh, LeBron James, the Cleveland Cavaliers. They is to invade the AT&T Center tonight. Should be one hell of a game. I, was, I tried selling my tickets last night, and they sold right away. Somebody picked them up right away, so okay, I'm good with that. That's why, I, I'm, that's why I'm selling them. I'm good. I've seen LeBron too many times. I'll stay at home, uh, buy me a couple of beers, and order me a pizza, and I'll be good to go. There you go. So, head on over to Robert Reeves on the radio group page right now, and answer me, pregunta, por favor. Um, 
Do you have any grandbabies? And if you do, how many do you have? I'm, I've got somebody here. No more Jean. One second. Ah, oh, my coffee's kicking butt. There we go. Norma Jean signs. Saddle that says, they are definitely a blessing. I have 27. Ah. You, you have a, you, wait a minute. I have 27 and a great granddaughter. Won't name them at uh, will. Fill up the page. and good. 27 grandbabies? Am I reading this right, Norma? 27 grandbabies? Man, you can start your own baseball team. Man, 27 grandbabies? Man, you know, somebody needs cable. You got to get them a flat screen TV. They got to start doing something else, man. They call that 27 grandbabies. Man, you can start your own company. You know, you know, building cars, you know, drug trafficking. You can do all that stuff. Anyways, Elsa Valdez says, I got, she's from Mississippi. I'll be in Mississippi in three weeks. Elsa Valdez says, I got 12 grandbabies and a piece of my heart. I heard you this good morning. Ah, there you go. Good morning. Twelve grandbabies also. But twenty Missy Nancy go <laughs> Twenty seven grandbabies. That's a lot of diapers. I got Jeffrey Charles coming on to look at I'm gonna shut up. Good morning, Double R Radio. Uh what else? Well good morning, Double R Radio.